the people of the state of Michigan versus Beyond Hasty. The defendant is charged with counts one and two, criminal sexual conduct, fourth degree. Count three, police officer assaulting, resisting, and obstructing. Appearance, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Elizabeth Moore on behalf of the people, P84724. And Rick Nelson on behalf of a uh, client, Your Honor, who's present now on Zoom. Ms. Hasty, state your name. Dion D'Angelo Hasty. What's your pleasure, Mr. Nelson? Well, Judge, this is a prosecutor. Uh, I believe she has something to say. That is correct, Your Honor. We have an exam date scheduled for this Friday. That's March 22nd at 1030 in the morning. Um, I have a conflict. I was looking to get the exam uh, covered. However, the actual conflict in this case is that the victim, who is um, a minor, she's still in high school. She, it appears, is on a trip with her family. Um, she is going to be not in the state of Michigan, from my understanding, from March 19th, so today through March 25th. I am asking for an adjournment. I recognize that um, this is not ideal for the court's purposes and defense counsel's purpose, and the defense is going to be objecting. I just would like to note that I did reach out to defense counsel early last week to let him know about this and to see if there was any way that we could actually move up the exam date so that it would not um, further inconvenience the court in terms of a time frame perspective. But unfortunately, that was not able to be worked out. Mr. Nelson, is your client in? My client is out, Judge, but he strenuously objects. Uh, you can see he's dressed uh, appropriately. He's taking this matter extremely serious. Uh, was anxious to get this exam underway this Friday. Uh, we would strongly object. Uh, it seems to me that this uh, young lady knew that there was a court date and chose to to leave the uh, and go on vacation or a trip. I understand that, um, but he's ready to go. He wants to go. Uh, he's, so we object to any adjournment. When is the complaint coming back? Uh, Your Honor, I believe they come back into town on um, Monday, March 25th. I'm not sure of exactly what time they're back in the Metro Detroit area. Um, so I don't know if an afternoon exam would be successful, but they should be available anytime after the 25th. Thank you. Thank you. No. No. How long ago was this in town set? Your Honor, this was set about two weeks ago. Um, it took me three days to get in touch. I'm sorry, four days to get in touch with the um, victim's family through the victim advocate. And then um, over the weekend, I reached out to defense counsel, letting him know about the conflict. That was nine days ago that I alerted defense to the conflict. All right. So... When the exam was set, you got in touch with the complaining witnesses and they advised you that they already had a vacation scheduled? That is correct, Your Honor. All right. Okay. Mr. Nelson, are you available March 27th? Uh, Judge, unfortunately, I'm available March 26th, anytime in the afternoon, or March 29th. March 29th is a good Friday. You'll be here by yourself. Okay, some courts are open in the morning. <laughs> any, any any time on the 26th in the afternoon? 26th is my homicide day. I already have a homicide schedule. 25th in the afternoon? Not sure if they'll be back by the 25th. You don't have anything available on the 27th? Judge, if you can start it at 2.30. Uh, How many witnesses, Ms. Two, Your Honor. Schedule things that late, but 
Due to the circumstances, I was scheduled it on March 27th at 2 30. The court finds good cause for the adjournment. Judge, uh, one last request. Um, my client has been placed on a tether since his release from the jail. He has a full time job, very sensitive job, works uh, heavily with the largest police force in the city of Detroit. Uh, he's known this family for quite a few years. There's already a no contact uh, condition, which has never been violated in place. I would ask, Judge, if you could remove the tether for this man. He's uh, been in constant contact with me. We've discussed this matter at length. Uh, and, and in my mind, he, he's taken this matter extremely seriously. And I would ask that you please remove the tether. What's the issue with the tether? Well, Judge, quite frankly, in working with law enforcement and having a tether on, it's just, you know, I, I understand it. So, not necessarily, a, it's an inconvenience and it's a, humiliating. What does he do with law enforcement? He he's, works in a tow capacity for the city of Detroit Police Department, he does all their towing. Ms. Moore? Your Honor, first of all, I do recognize that I have requested the adjournment in this case. My only concern, Your Honor, is that the defendant was extremely resistant and extremely combative with police officers, that it led to the police officer resisting an obstructing charge. And additionally, he was so resistant that he still has not been fingerprinted because of his behavior in and around um, the scene and back um, at the uh, at the police department. So my concern is that if Mr. Hasty is appearing in court today um, via Zoom dressed for court, maybe there's been a change in behavior, but these charges let were came arose out of a situation where he was not compliant and not doing what officers asked him to do. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into the facts of this case, but there's a reason for all for all of that. Obviously, this is a very sensitive charge in itself. Um, so, yeah, I don't think anybody was ever happy being confronted with a situation or, or something as this is being said about them that they uh, did this act. Uh, obviously, he was upset. After okay. that, he's acted very appropriately, Judge. If closely with law enforcement, I would think that he would be at least cooperative, cooperative enough to at least allow them to fingerprint. Well, That's Judge, how about if he goes and do that, does that and then you release the tether, show some good faith? I'm not really inclined to release the tether. In fact, I'm not sure why the tether even poses a problem. I understand it works with law enforcement, but we're long fans. Who, who sees the tether? Your Honor, if he could address the court, I, I would just let him speak a few minutes. Mr. Hasty, can you unmute? Yes, uh, Hello. Hey, you seem to have a lot to say. What are you trying to say? I'm sorry. Are you addressing me, Judge? Yes, I am. Judge, he's asking about the tether, Mr. Hasty. Okay. Yes, the tether. You can see the tether on my leg. Um, well, man, sir. You can. There's nothing that I could do to conceal the tether. But for no, more important, can I may I say just one thing? Go ahead. I have a tether on my leg, and I'm I'm being dealt with in a in in as if I'm guilty of something. There is absolutely nothing that substantiate or can justify me having a tether on my leg working with the pole i work with law enforcement so law enforcement always knows where i'm at i have done anything i'm 53 about to be 53 years old where is ask the prosecutor why isn't she ready She should be ready. People can't go on vacations and my livelihood and my character is at stake here. And they get to go. You can accuse me of raping you, but you can go. Obviously, you're not that concerned and you're off on vacation. It's, it's, that's not fair to me, Your Honor. It's, it's, it's really not fair. And, and there is no evidence that that we went to Foot Locker. There's no video. 
They, the prosecution has not. Attempted. All right, Mr. Hasty, Mr. Hasty, you don't want to get into facts at this point. We're I just want to get up. into facts right now. Yeah. Yes, I do. We're just yes, talking I about. Do. We're just talking about the tether. The fact, uh, this young lady has told a blatant lie. The video at Foot Locker. The, the detective asked for video from Foot Locker, but didn't ask for video. <clears throat> he didn't ask for video from the from the Foot Locker inside the Foot Locker, but he asked for video from the parking lot. He never asked for the video. I should never have been arrested. I was in the car asleep. They could have went to Foot Locker, got the video to substantiate this young lady's claim. She's never been at that Foot Locker. There's, get, let's get the video. Let's get the phone record. She said she called me over to take her to Foot Locker. In fact, there's no phone call placed in my phone. There's no phone call placed from my phone to her. I stopped by. I used to live at that house. I paid bills at that house. Yes, I stopped by. Yes, I was intoxicated when I stopped by and I fell asleep. She mad because I didn't buy her no Jordans. And you were so gonna tell it, you go tell the people that I raped you. I can understand. I am livid, Your Honor. I'm livid. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to show some self control here, sir. I'm 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 sure. having self control. I'm yeah. at home, but I'm upset. Have you ever been accused of being a pedophile, Your Honor? It's very, 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 very. I was in jail for seven days, sir. I spent 18 years in prison. So for me to go to jail for seven days after 30 years for this type of charge. What were you in prison for? For armed robbery. Uh -huh. I used to rob people. I ain't never raped nobody. I spent 18 years. I've been that happened 32 years ago. I've been out 14 years. So I'm trying to restrain myself from asking more questions, Mr. Nelson. You can you but, can ask me anything, Judge. You no, can ask me anything you that want. That would not be advisable. Because I want to know, first of all, how old is the young lady we're talking about? Apparently they she's say she's 16. She's 16 years old? Yes, sir. First question that arises to my mind is, what are you doing with the 16-year-old? She's a family member. I've been I've been around her all her life. I wasn't with her, Your Honor. I know her whole family, her grandmother, my grandmother and her grandmother. That's how far we go back. I've been around all of them, their whole family. I, I raised her. I raised the grandma. I've been around. I changed their diapers. I'm a. I'm not no stranger. Should be a very interesting preliminary examination. It, 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 I, I, yes, we can have it right now. You can Sir, call. You? Her, put them on the phone. It's no excuse for not y'all going past my fourteen days. I suppose I have an exam fourteen days of probable oh, cause. Uh, 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 judge. Judge, Stop what? I've gone past the prosecutors had plenty of time, Judge. Yeah, I've heard enough. Violence continue. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Okay, so two thirty on the twenty uh, seventh, twenty sixth was it? Twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Yeah, two thirty. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Okay. You're all set, Mr. Hastings.